Hi, my name is Neil Bacon, the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. And I've been listening to uh, Shadow of the Daleks, Big Finishes, Shadow of the Daleks, part two. <laughs> it's a uh, 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 four individual stories, uh, the second release of four individual stories, uh, starring Peter Davison and uh, a, a recurring guest. We're going to get into what it actually is. And it's not really a recommend. I'm sorry to tell you, it's not really a uh, recommend. Uh, Big Finish are curtailing their month releases and you can really see why this year has not been a good year for it whatsoever and uh, they just seem to be so incredibly bored with it uh, that they don't know what to do with it so uh, yeah I think it's probably a good idea they're moving on uh, uh, so yeah so I get it's not terrible it's not uh, offensively preachy or anything like that it's just not great and doesn't really hold together fine so we're gonna get get the full review uh before we get there can I ask you guys can you hit the like button that'd be great can you hit the share button that's actually insanely great and can you hit the uh subscribe button ridiculously great thank you very much uh and if you're subscribed make sure you're still subscribed YouTube has been on an unsubscribe frenzy for the last few weeks, ever since you know, the US election, which I think is a bit weird. But I don't, listen, I don't think me and you know, the uh, 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 the current uh, the current president or, or the uh, projected president elect uh, are all in the same conspiratorial category. I just think it's a bit weird. I think it's a bit weird. So if you subscribe, make sure you still subscribe. And if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. That'd be fantastic. If you subscribe, of course, uh, you can enter my weekly competitions. The prize this week is Judge Dredd, The Complete Case Files, Volume 17. This is uh, every Judge Dredd story over a year, over, I think a period of a year. Uh, it includes the mega epic uh, Judgment Day. Uh, written by Garth Ennis, a lot of art, great artwork by Carlos Aquiza. Um, it's the Judge Dredd and all the judges around the world being attacked by zombies. Uh, you had me at that, and he crosses over with uh, Johnny Alpha, Strong Jim Dog. Uh, a lot of fun. All you need to do to win it is subscribe to the channel, which is the reason I do these competitions. Subscribe to the channel, and in the comments, leave the hashtag. Uh, hashtag is Sabat Shalom. Sabat Shalom. Sabat is the name of the villain, and uh, uh, Shalom is like we say in, in, in Israel. So, so Sabat Shalom. Uh, also, also, go check the video notes. Uh, every, all the information you need to win it is right there. Also, while you're checking the video notes, check out this thing, baby. I have a uh, Indiegogo opening up in, in, in a few weeks, uh, in a couple of weeks. Uh, two really, really great graphic novels over here. Pr pretty different graphic novels. Uh, so I'm building up an email list right now. If you could do me the solid and click the link and add your email address, that is just so incredibly helpful. Thank you very much. Even if you're not planning on making a purchase, it's just a numbers game. The more people you have signed up, the better it is. But it, I, I would recommend making a purchase. Now, if you make any purchase whatsoever, you get one of these for... Uh, for the male gaze, for the male gaze art cards, uh, 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 for free, absolutely free. There is a package where you get get all four of them anyway. So if you do, where you get both graphic novels and all four of them. If you do that, then you can get a fifth chaser card, which I don't think you're going to be able to get any other way. So just hit that subscribe button. Well, hit the subscribe button, but go and subscribe to the email list as well. Thank you very much. That is that is very 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 helpful, and I am uh, I really am. Just like it, it, however pathetically grateful I am for you hitting the subscribe button here. Joining the email list, time set by a gazillion billion. Uh, I, and it's just the truth. <laughs> it's just the absolute truth. Bye, bye, bye. Let's have a look at this uh, this latest lead, Shadow of the Dalek. So a reasonably interesting idea that just didn't really work in the end. Basically, you have a limited cast of four people. The cast are all, are all pretty good. Well, yeah, Peter Davison, of course, uh, playing the Doctor. Nicholas Briggs playing the Daleks. Uh, but then you got, um, uh, who is it? Deviria... Kiran, I don't know who she is. Glenn McCready, don't know who he is either. Uh, uh, Jamie Parker, don't know who he is. All these are fine actors. I have nothing against them. And the only person I do know is, is uh, Anjali uh, Mohindra from the Sarah Jane Adventures. Um, yeah, all, that, all fine actors, but they all play different roles. So basically the idea is the Doctor, uh, uh, is uh, the Fifth Doctor suddenly starts encountering visions of the Time War Daleks, those bronze Daleks, those cool bronze Daleks, uh, and whenever and it's always wrapped up with the same four faces, the same four people in different settings, and, you, and each episode is a different self-contained story with those four people, with all those elements, and they kind of just bounce from story to story, and you need to like, and they need to tie it together into one uh, narrative, and that's really the problem. That's really it. Never really ties together well in the one narrative they the there is a resolution in this it the resolution is actually pretty good and it that works but they should have been seeded i think throughout the episodes more strongly what's really happening is we get eight writers 
and they give them, they they said we need you to do a one episode one featuring the Dalek sort of and these four people uh, uh and just you do it's whatever you want and basically they uh they've pulled out from their idea for an idea uh, uh, which haven't been bad they haven't been bad but they just haven't gelled together right hasn't gelled together to create a narrative i think by the time you get to the uh uh, uh resolution your um it, it it yeah it just it doesn't feel um it doesn't feel like it was it was, it was paced out properly uh and, and it just it doesn't it doesn't gel together and again i just think this is an expression of the utter utter boredness that big finish have with the main range and which is i'm kind of glad it's going you know it's it's it not you know nothing lasts forever fine so let's uh what are the four stories in this one we have uh, echo chamber by jonathan barnes really like jonathan barnes as a writer by the way he, he he's done uh a uh, bunch of the, their Sherlock Holmes stuff. Uh, I, I what, really want to hear his Dracula stuff. I haven't heard that yet. So this is uh, um, a reasonably obnoxious, uh, uh, lovey idea. <laughs> you know, it's based around like how awful uh, talk radio is and how much it spreads disinformation and fake news and you know sensationalized. Partially uh, true, partially true. But I think the 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 writers really railing against is there not being a monopoly of uh, of information yeah and so yeah which which is basically gone with the age of social media i think yeah he can't stand things like info wars and yeah which uh, all thing yeah stuff like that anything anything with news in it that he doesn't like uh uh, uh i think he says oh this is just sensationalist crap so the doctor uh uh suddenly wakes up materializes he's in the, uh, he's in a radio station and he's uh um heading a talk show one of these like sensationalist talk shows where you have to get people angry and outraged um and and the, the that that doesn't really work with the fifth doctor which is with they do that on purpose and yeah the fifth doctor more like talks and and uh uh, uh investigates and and bring, brings things out uh, again, again, it's 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 a reason. It's a reasonably okay idea. It's a little bit throwaway, and it doesn't really explain. I mean, like when you get to the end, the final story, you don't really explain how you got there, right? It's it's it doesn't. Uh, um, yeah, it just uh, it just doesn't really really work that well. Uh, towards zero, that's actually a little bit better. That 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 is, you forget a feeling that you're heading towards a conclusion. Uh, so the doctor finds himself in a country house. Uh, with uh, uh, it's like a you know a 1930s murder mystery, but he's a victim. The doctor is a victim. He's been developing regeneration, so they think he's regenerated. Uh, and again, kind of interesting sapphire and steely type story. I, doesn't it ties slightly more together to the final thing, but really not enough. And again, that's the problem with these two releases. Again, this is the second of, of, uh, of uh, you know release doing this in a row. I I, I, I just think hey, they they should have done like longer stories with them. Maybe maybe they should have done four or four two part stories. I'm not sure. The uh, so the third one is Castle Hydra by uh, Lizzie Hopley. She she's a, a reasonably good writer. Um, uh, this is the doctor is in a villain's castle and uh, and again, there's lots of people all with the same faces and, and they got to work out why and what's going on and this one kind of like points him in the direction to where to go to right at the end for the uh, 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 for the last part which explains everything but again again it just doesn't uh, doesn't presage the ending so when we finally get to the ending uh, we find out what's going on, and it does indeed tie, tie in with the Time War. There's some uh, uh, attack on uh, 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 on Gallifrey at the, I'm assuming the beginning parts of the Time War, where the Doctor is caught caught up in it, uh, and uh, that's where these four these four recurring people come from throughout time. And yeah, it's it's not explained clear clearly enough. It's not a bad uh, uh, denouement, but I think there just should have been much more editorial oversight over over all of these eight stories to tie them together to make one seamless narrative which it's not which it's not at all um so yeah sadly sadly not a recommend not not a recommend at all i, I don't really have much more to say <laughs> other than that uh so there you go like share subscribe let me know what, what you think of it do not forget do not forget to uh, uh check out my uh my, my, my indiegogo and uh uh add your name to, to the sign up list that will be fan dabby double dozy 
much better, much better than than, than 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 listening to this audio. Again, it's not obnoxiously bad. It's not preaching to you. It's not hitting you over the head. It's not incompetently written. It's just not really that great. <laughs> That's really the better way. It's not really that great. My name is Ela Becker, the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell so you're notified when new videos drop.